Hello everybody, it's we Paddy from Across the Shock and uh, coming back today with a, a wee video from our pass around group. These two knives are from Slick Slicers and also I've got another couple of knives from UK Legal Carry um, which I'll probably do Monday or Tuesday. But this is a, a just an overview. These are these are not my knives, so I don't intend to do much with them. It's just a nice overview. Neither the two of them I've ever held in hand, uh, and I've never had a SOG. This is a Rough Rider, the Granddaddy Barlow, and this is the SOG Terminus. Now, this is the slip joint version. Now, the strange thing is, this is legal here, and the Rough Rider is not, because the Rough Rider is a, a four-inch blade. <laughs> which is uh, just too big for over here. They don't accept it. But look, I'll do a quick look at both of them. I'll take this away for now. I'll put this up here. And we'll have a look at the SOG Terminus. Now, let's get that out of my eyesight. Now, there we go. Uh, G10 scales. Lovely deep pocket carry clip. Um, Slick Slicers has this lovely little uh, lanyard here, which I quite like, I have to say. Great pocket clip. I know people don't like all this, but it doesn't bother me in the slightest, to be honest. But great looking. It's got a nail nick on either side of it, which is great. Makes it nice and ambidextrous. This actually swaps over. If you can see there, there's a hole on the other side. You can switch this over, which is smashing. Listen to that lock up. Look, I've never had a SOG because, to be honest with you, most of the American reviewers I have, have had up until this year, funny, at Blade Show, it's or the, the, the new um, show at Las Vegas that we're talking about, SOG is making a comeback. But I'd never handled one, and I never had really... I'd seen this knife, and I've sort of wanted it and put it off and on and off and on. Um, and I'm really glad um, Eric has sent this over to me, because... Let me tell you, if, if if all SOGs were like this here, my goodness, they'd have a bigger share of the market. This is tightly locked up. It, the, it is no half slip, but Mike, listen to this. What a solid, that, that's, that's what you want on a slip joint. And it's also got the, the tab here, which doesn't show up here, but what a great way to get your finger safe on a slip joint. And this is the sort of a stocky wee knife that you want to do work with. I'm just gonna give you a quick, um, I haven't, uh, I know that the, the the blade thickness is about two and a half mil, about 0 0.1 of a, or yes, 0 0.1 of an inch. Let's have a look and see what the measurement or the weight is of this thing. It's only 2.8, I actually thought it was heavier. And I know it's a small knife, it's, Three inches, but it's a cutting edge of about two and three quarter. Uh, the overall length is about seven and a quarter. So it's a perfect little EDC knife for over here, but it's a perfect little EDC knife for anywhere. I mean, you're very safe with this up front here. Even if this was to close, it's not going to go anywhere. And look at the look at that there, the spring back on that. The lock back, it really is just a, a cracking little knife. I had a look at it. It's on... Um, Plastic washers, which is absolutely, I don't mind plastic washers at all. This is very, very smooth. It's not a knife you're going to flick anyway. As such, you know, it's a nail nick. It's a two-handed operation. Um, but the, the just the sound of that is absolutely cracking. So, Eric, I'm really glad you sent that over to me. What other knife would I compare it to? Look, there's a, let me just, let me, sorry, go through that blade shape. How lovely is that blade shape? The lovely swedge on top. The hollow ground, really thin behind the edge. Love it behind the edge. Just the whole blade shape is just so comfortable because it's so neutral. And we keep saying this, neutral blade shapes or, or handle shapes are just amazing. They make a knife comfortable to use. Um, to me, this is just a user. This would do you as an EDC for any hard use, it, it's nice. Now the steel is BD1N, I believe. Let me just double check that. There we go. Yes, CTS BD1. It's not the N, sorry, it's a BD1, which is a good enough steel. Uh, absolutely good enough steel for EDC. Um, not super hard, the retention's maybe not brilliant, but it will do you a day's work. And if not, it's just a wee quick drop to get it back up again. Um, let's put it up against some there's a para three just to let you see that it'd be very similar in size to the para three the perspective is not great there but i would say let me just get them edge the edge the para three is about it's not even a quarter of an inch bigger than that that's just a bad perspective here's the manly wasp which i think 
again it's another slip joint the blade lengths are something similar their length is something sorry Sally's we uh, phone just went off there the the length and the handle and everything is just the handles looks really similar if you they're just neutral they just make for a good work knife this is an amazing work knife now they're both about the same price now the only difference with the manly is that it comes with uh this is the s90 v it is the s90 v version which is as you all know it's a much better steel it'll last a bit longer it's a bit thinner behind the edge probably but now and this is a but not everybody likes this four position stop on the on the manly and it, it i mean to be honest with you if you put the two of them together the sog just looks more attractive but as a functional edc the manly is definitely going to get it with the s90v without a doubt you know but like i said i'll not blunt that in the day very often if i do it takes a strop you could nearly strop it back in his jeans bd1 and it'll come back again so that's a great comparison knife I love this. This is my, this would be my budget. And I'm saying budget is 50 quid like, but I mean, as a user, as a, you know, a work knife, this is definitely it for me. So all in all, I am over the moon. I see the, the SOG terminal has one with the access lock on it. Um, I might even give that a little go just to see what that's like. But I'm over the moon with this. I think this is a stunning knife. I would use this regular. It is. It would get into my EDC very, very easily. So, thank you very much, Eric. I just think that is a lovely bit. I'm glad I got the chance to look at it. I've been looking at it for years and not bought it, but I can see that coming into my collection this year. Now, let's put this one up out of the way here and we'll bring in the big Rough Rider. Look at this, the Granddaddy Barlow in, um, oh gosh, it's gone out of my head now. It's horn. Um, it's just beautifully, and it is bone-like. And look at the jigging on that bone for, you know, this, I don't know what price this was, but probably not much more than 20, 25 pound. Over here in the UK, probably cheaper again over in uh, the US and, and other places. But look at the jigging on that bone. Ram's horn, that's what it is. Couldn't get it into my head. The lovely little Rough Rider shield. And it also has the Rough Rider um, etched into it. It's not etched, it's actually um, milled. I can... <laughs> this is my Saturday brain. I'm watching rugby. I'm between rugby matches, so I'm hyped up. Ireland's just about to play rugby, so anyway... <laughs> I don't know what that's got to do with knives, but you got told it anyway. Beautifully, be it's one of the nicest bones I've seen on a Rough Rider knife. I'll be honest with you. It is one of the nicest. It's so well done, so well matched up. Just stunning. Now, where do you see the length of this blade? Not very often you get a blade on a slip joint of four inches. The beautiful, well, but it opened up, I don't know, there's the ram's horn bone absolutely beautiful clip on that look at the length of that slender clip now not particularly strong in the retention but you can actually bring your fingers right up here and it's not going to close on you but what a lovely knife if you want that bit of extra reach this is just a beautiful knife for a slip joint in my honest opinion i think four inches is too much but but um it is just a beautiful example of what Rough Rider can do. What a Chinese OEM can do is just amazing. That is stunning. The fit and finish. Look at that. It's a bit of a gap there, but not much. I mean, again, for the price that you're going to pick something like this up, it's a little bit off. Again, this is a traditional. I'm not going to worry. It's a budget traditional knife. But look at that. A threaded bolster. Beautifully beautifully shining um bolsters on it or bolster it's a bare head absolutely stunning now i'm going to give you a wait on this before i give you a comparison because i've only one knife in my collection i can compare this to now 4.2 so not bad for a, a blade this must i would say this would be nine inches let me just measure this for you it is nine inches nine inches long i can hardly get that on the screen beautiful but what have i got to com compare to it 
I have a beautiful queen knife. It's the queen number 13 and this is in a burl wood. Um, I'll get them. There's bolster to bolster. There's not that much dense. This is a big work knife. This is a big work knife. This is a four inch and this is a three and three quarter probably yeah about three and three quarter maybe just under it but a cutting edge of about three and a quarter and this one has three and a half so i mean two big work knives this one has a much better retention um and a, a thicker handle to get a grip off to be honest with you this is this handle's just about right for this knife i think this is a bit elongated for my hands anyway but but what a beautiful option. One's $25, this one's over 100 But aren't they just beautiful options of knives? I mean, the difference in the Queen is, look, it's like night and day. If you want, if you want to be honest with you, night and day, as in fit and finish, the materials used, it's completely different. But for a budget option to a knife like this, what an absolute dream. I would want this in my collection every day of the week. A gorgeous knife from Rough Rider. This is an exceptional the Mountain Man from Queen Cutlery. It was one of their best big knife sellers. A beautiful, beautiful knife. Both bare heads, you get a lanyard hole in this. And uh, I think it's a nice... Well, look, for the price you're paying compared to this, it, it should be nicer. It should be nicer and better steel. But again, for a, a just an everyday use knife, this is a work knife. And this is too, it's not, I mean, there's no blade wiggle in this. This is solid, absolutely solid. You could do plenty of work with it. It's just too skinny a handle for me. I feel as if the handle is just a wee bit too long. There's too much left over at the end there for comfort for me. But... An absolutely stunning example of what you can get for the money and to build up a collection of big knives. If you want a big knife in your collection, definitely that is the, the boil. So, Eric, thank you so much, so much. I'll just put this to a PM3. Do you see the difference? Look at the difference. <laughs> it is a big beastie of a knife. Two beautiful knives. Really glad to see them in hand. I can see this being part of my collection. If this ever comes back out again, I will get one. So that's good to get two knives that you'll want, you know, you'll want to buy yourself. Thank you, Eric. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing uh, the next two I have from UK Legal Knives, Al. And that will be up in the next day or two. But two beautiful examples. Any questions, ask me down below. But I'll put Eric and... Uh, Al's channels down below so Eric has reviews on and I think Al has reviews in this as well and they're probably more detailed well at least Eric's will be more detailed but just two great knives uh, and SOG it really is bringing SOG into my head I haven't got one if that's the standard that they're making or they're gonna they're gonna jump to I might be buying more SOG that's lovely take care folks all the very best Paddy's away to watch Ireland defeat Scotland at rugby all the best. Bye-bye now.